Hello guys. I was cleaning up this Dell Latitude uh, E6410. While I uh, managed to clean everything up really well with uh, this, this, and this, there is an issue. That uh, actually is a real issue with all laptops and other electronics that have this uh, kind of perforated uh, metal somewhere on them. Let me just try and zoom in. Hopefully my camera will stay in focus. Let me turn a bit to the side. You can see in those holes there is a little bit of dust. I tried to take it out with this thing. Some of them you can take out but not all of them because uh, I don't know it's not only dirt, uh, dirt or dust it's combined with uh, I don't know maybe grease from your hands and weird stuff so it doesn't come out easily on, on some electronics you can actually take this metal out and clean it when it's out that's the uh, easiest and best solution on this one it's not possible and the problem uh, is that actually it has uh, even speakers underneath so you are limited with the kind of uh, solutions you can put in it and if you put some solvent or something you will probably damage the speakers so I got a workaround for this thing Uh, already did the same on uh, another laptop you can see here this is uh, basically printer ink black printer ink with just a bit of water so I don't use too much ink and this is a simple brush they are this dirty because I used them on an E5510 I think it's a 5510 uh, also Dell so what you need to do Hopefully I can do this on camera, but the bulk of the work will not be done on camera. Make sure uh, you don't put too much uh, water on this laptop, so you need the minimum possible. Again, uh, make sure you do not uh, get yourself uh, covered in uh, this thing, because it's pretty hard to and do not do this motion because you will get uh, drops everywhere on you you just need to make sure that it enters every single of uh, these holes and this being just printer ink with a little bit of water will not damage glue will not damage the speaker underneath because you are putting just a little bit of it uh, and it, it's not a solvent ok so this area for example here is 100% uh, finished, all the holes are filled with this stuff I need to do everything and on the other side so let's get to it this is how it looks while it's drying up we will let it dry up, I've cleaned up just a little bit the excess but the cleaning will be done completely in the end you can see on this just make sure you don't get it on your fingers like I did like I always do when I work with uh, printer ink, I don't like to use gloves uh, it takes away from the feeling let it dry up and uh, afterwards clean uh, all the excess don't put again too much there's no need for that, this thing covers really really well as you can see it's dried up now I've put this in a bag so it doesn't dry while this is drying because uh, I want to use it to take the bulk of the of the blackness you can see we do not want uh, anything to remain on the outside we just want it uh, in the holes This will take a while and I will have to change this once or twice to make sure there is no no ink on the 
on the outside because you do not want to to make your fingers dirty from it or your hands so the only ink should remain in the holes on the I don't know dust that is in there so this will take a bit of oil it's 100% done what you can see here and here is not dirt not dust there are just uh, tiny scratches uh, and uh, dents in the metal itself so can't do anything about those but the grills themselves looking perfectly again a bit of an issue with the metal right there so what can I say let me just step back a bit from this thing and zoom out just a tiny bit now it's actually looking rather nice so thanks for watching uh, like the video subscribe check out my other videos and see you again in the next one bye